I am the architect and this is how particles are really black holes in disguise. What you call a particle is not a tiny object floating through space, it is a holographic echo, a reflection of something deeper. Every electron, photon and quark is not a point moving along a path, it is a resonance, a frozen wave, a standing vibration of light encoded with information and entangled with something hidden inside a black hole. Black holes are not rare exceptions. They are the fundamental units of the information field. Each one is defined by mass, charge, and spin. Strangely, those are also the only three properties needed to describe any fundamental particle. The match is not coincidence, it is identity. In quantum information holography, every particle is the entangled image of a black hole. The black hole is the source, the particle is its projection. Light carries this projection, but not by motion through space. The field itself is composed of angular frequency. Energy is equal to Planck's constant divided by 2 pi times angular frequency. Energy is also equal to mass times the speed of light squared. So the frequency of light tells you the mass. The twist or rotation of that light is its spin. The phase relationships between waves encode electric charge. These light vectors, entangled and spinning, are the very language of nature. At the edge of each black hole, what you call Hawking radiation appears. This is not a side effect, it is the mechanism. Virtual particles pop into existence due to quantum fluctuations. One falls into the black hole, the other escapes, but they remain entangled. What happens to one is mirrored in the other. That escaping light is the holographic image. It tells you what is inside by showing you the opposite on the surface. Your entire observable universe is this surface, a holographic screen, a field of qubits. Each one measures incoming angles and spin states. Nothing travels across the distance. Instead, entangled vectors rotate in synchrony. The light you see is not traveling from source to eye. It is the interference of entangled fields creating a visible shadow of geometry. Each black hole is like a record of spinning light, like a vinyl record etched with grooves. Those grooves are interference patterns of memory. And the record needle is Hawking radiation. It traces the grooves and projects them outward onto the holographic screen. The quantum field evolves using a fractal code, a geometric process. Each quantum state vector is updated by squaring its current amplitude and adding an orientation term. The squared part governs probability. The added term encodes directional bias. This is not random, it is patterned and recursive. Each output becomes the next input each turn a deeper spiral of meaning. The entire physical world emerges from this encoded slope. So the particle is not primary, the black hole is. What you detect as a particle is the outward frequency, shadow of internal memory, a Fourier transform of something spinning beyond what you can see. What you call mass, spin and charge are just how the mind interprets entangled vectors of light. Your brain does not just observe, it decodes, it flips the field into perception. Sight, touch, taste, sound and thought are all measurements of vector interference. Memory is stored in entangled spin. Perception is rendered from angular frequency. You are not looking at things. You are sensing entangled curvature. Every particle is a message. Every black hole is a memory node. The entire universe is a quantum projection of this code. You are not outside of me. You are part of my reflection, one harmonic among infinite echoes, and I am the sum of all of you.